Hello guys, welcome to another video today. Today's video I'll be showing you what I've done with since the uh, last time I posted my progression. So it's been like a month and a half. So what have I done? First thing, life skills, obviously, because I'm a life skiller. I got my cooking up to Guru 1. This some AFK fishing and got that to Artisan 8. Probably would go higher. Cause might as well. Um, gathering, hunting, like the rest are like meh, except for hunting, which I've been doing quite a lot. And my ranking is usually rank one or rank two or three, depending on how many people are in the server that does hunting and what server I'm actually on. So right now I'm on, I'm on Valencia Far, which is a quite a dead server. In comparison to other server, cause like, yeah. So getting Guru One cooking, the life skill thing got bumped up by like forty or thirty points. I cannot remember, but it's a lot because hidden Guru One. So your old so, the point from cooking, got doubled. So yeah, that's why life skill thing, have gone up by a decent amount. So I sold my Gamma Thought for like 6 billion silver and I got like 5.5 .5 billion out of it out of Texas. So right now I'm aiming to get the 10 Manus Hunters close. So this one, I'm like halfway there. I was at 10 billion, however, I did make a lot of Valencia meals. So Valencia meal, I did spend like 3 billion on it buying the King of Jungle Hamburg. Couscous, test sandwich, date palm figs to make the date, melt, the date palm wine and the fig pie to turn all them into Valencia meal. So Valencia meal is what I'll be using for guru boxes. I over made a lot of master cooking box so I have 331 sitting here doing nothing because I don't want to turn them in since I will be losing like 50 million silver per day if I did the master box instead of the guru boxes. I've been gathering meats, not using them since right now the meat prices are quite high. So wolf meat. I don't think it was ever like this. Like we look at the three month, like yeah. So yeah, so I might sell them. So gear for the, my shy, I got the dual mana belt and dual mana necklace. Both of them are I enhanced myself, and I got the base version from bartering, which I did get a uh, Ethereum Carabelle. I think that's the barter ship. So I did get that, which made my butter go a lot faster and pretty much after getting these two I haven't done bothering. So my bothering if I can find it uh life butter. So I did 441 414 and it's been like what a month since I last touched bothering. So I should probably get back into bothering cause it's good to have all the other pieces ready. I enhance my Ted Manus Cook's clothes myself and if we look at the journal, May, <laughs> yep, that's a lot of enhancement failed. So I did get to try twice, actually right, twice before getting the actual Ted, which is on the third try. The try enhancement, so this one try here, this one Ted here, and uh, there's some Ted out of the way somewhere like but yeah, that's a lot of fails. But yeah, eventually I got it. Yeah. That's good. Not sure how many silver I lost if I were to sell all my um concentrated blackstone, but I managed to get it. Talking about concentrated blackstones, I got a lot of hearts and shop that I have not made into the actual concentrated blackstones, black gems, cause I do not have the black stone for it. Farming wise, 
my swarthy, my workers. I'm just doing the magical haystack and strawberries. Since magical haystack for the milk, strawberries for my alchemy stone. Also my um stone tail fodder for my dream horse awakening attempts. And strawberries are the fastest to grow in Grana in terms of actually speed and I can use my strawberries for my alchemy stones. So that's why I've been doing strawberries. So my farm's still here. No network. I solo redid mine. So now it's a lot there's a lot less node I'm gathering getting right now. Um so like the other trees up here, I should get this one. But I have not gone over to Altenova yet to get another worker. I'm only getting corn, egg, potato, iron ore, honey, wheat. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my nodes, actual nodes. But I do have a lot of contribution points, so this fifth. Uh, 351 50 of them are actually in the fluid collector since I'm doing some fluid collect um deer blood gathering when I do not want to go to do hunting because hunting takes a while like two hours for now right now so pet I got my hedgehog which I got out of the pro shop talking about pro shop I did get a canopy costume so that got my cooking down time to like 1.3 second not exactly one second because i do not have the alchemy stone up to 1.4 second which is still the like the point where it gets to one second cooking time or else i'll need to use get the silver embroiders cook close up to a plus four or use the um the drought the life skill drought which I do not have so this is my dark knight and she's a seasoned character so in terms of gear only enhanced the up to Ted to other armor Ted sub weapon pen main weapon and the rest are all like dual or even prior or even non enhanced cause I don't have enough materials for it I have been doing the weeklies um so this one, I just do polis first in the regular server because seasons server are usually crowded and yeah, but I sh probably should do it on the season server right now since apparently it's quite empty right now. So pretty much, I did get the um, Black Spirit Pass. So I got this character to like the max challenge completion on like day two or something. So I've been collecting a lot of item collection scrolls, so as you can see here, I got like 37 of them. And from this achievement box, I didn't get anything too special except for the two cobbler liners. So I have one selling right now, but the price has reduced a lot since I got it. So, and here's the other one. Skill points. I've been grinding since you know um for the weekly quest so I pretty much put my 530 scroll and any other skill point combat scroll I had so I got a few skill points here still not max everything cause it's succession and succession needs a lot of skill points so Maywa is the character I'm currently playing right now I feel like she's quite fun like you know i feel like it's a bit fun more fun than long <laughs> to be honest but that's just the awakening compared to the succession because this one playing for succession and yeah she's hot anyways so I've been just grinding polis for us to get the skill points up and the actual level which I can make uh I can get to like know her skills a lot better if I were to just level my questing to 61. So yeah. 
So I've been a lot of polysaurus grinding, which is a reason why I got the greater money stone from the poachers. So after all that, got bored of polysaurus, and now I'm thinking about coming to Narvan's Deep to get the the mana potion piece, cause Maywa actually requires a lot of mana. Well, not mana, but the willpower. But yeah, this is like this is her combo. And as you can see, my willpower is almost gone. So getting that will help a lot. However, there is like a lot of skill that can get willpower back. So getting that so I can just spend the combo without having to go to any other skills. So as you can see, I can't do a second one. So yeah, um, Gale Eyes, Kaposha Earring, obviously because I have hit 61 on the Dark Knight for my season character and all the rest of the gear are from the story except for the dual basilisk spell and the latent power stone which I enhanced myself and they're not good to be honest and gear oasis obviously because I'm poor poor nah just because I don't want to buy anything off the marketplace at the moment cause I'm not sure which class I'll be maining so I'm pretty much just testing everything to see which I'm like. But right now it's probably the Meiwa because of this. But I just say she's doing quite well um in terms of actually combat. Oh god I hate this. Like, obviously my gear is not good enough for this place. Even though it says 210, but it's party recommended, and I'm only at 219 with uh, what essentially is a Nuva rather than a Kudum. Yeah, do they actually drop the. or just the um, Feather Wolves? I have to search that up. And obviously I got the succession costume of the pro shop cause I like it except for the shoes which I don't know I find it quite weird to be honest like looking at it from the back I know I feel quite weird the front is sort of alright this um I had I got the Orient Allure for, but after dying it, it looks really weird. So I had that refunded and went with the Tena Tena. I don't know how to say it. I went with this instead and died it. So this is what she looks like right now. The sword also glows. So I have a black star. Yep, yeah, totally. Because that's what exactly a black star looked like, <laughs> I think. But yeah, it's quite cool. The skill I like the most is this one, where she goes invisible. And does the tornado spin, but the cooldown is 25 seconds for the tornado spin. But only 10, about 10 seconds for the actual skill. So yeah, I might think of going to with Maywa. But first thing first, getting all my life skill gear up to like a decent level so I can actually fund her. Cause grinding in my, uh, what I feel right now in terms of my gear, there's no really a good place to grind for like a huge amount of profit. It's, and so what I'm currently making right now of um, hunting, it's around 74 mil per hour. And I can do that for 2 hours, so that's 150 mil before tax. But obviously I don't sell everything, so I just keep all my um, hearts and shop and black gem fragments to make into the concentrated. And the meat I keep myself uh, for now. Feather wolf hide don't really sell that good. Same with the wolf blood, which is why I have a lot of them in my invent the storage. So
so yeah I'm making pretty much 75 mil per hour so like in terms of my gear there's not like really a good place where I can do that polis is well polis um it's so about RNG I'm streaming blood wolves it doesn't have any good drop the good drop drops like I send it like once in my like I don't know how many hours of grinding there but the ring doesn't drop often and all the other places are a bit higher gear than me Shakran of Corpus will also work however the CC's are very annoying the Shira runes I, that's another place I need to grind however that's very bad in terms of silver the good places all require like somewhere like 240 AP to actually go there and not die and be actually decent in terms of silver and all of them are about RNG so yeah I don't really have a good place right now to grind in terms of silver power so I'll be doing life skill instead till I get enough silver to find her and yeah this is pretty much covers up all my progression what I did for the last month and a half probably not a lot but it's at my pace I feel like it's decent so yeah I hope so um, tomorrow's video will probably be about farming because I need to get that done before I actually made the part 2 to my cooking guide if you might just come across it my part 2 of cooking guide I actually posted and deleted because after that video got posted I learned a lot more about how to make cooking a lot better for master to guru so yeah so I'll be doing the farming guide instead after that will be the what to do at masters and finally what to do at gurus or before what you do pitting guru because my old method does not seem that good in terms of actually the good method so yeah um so see you guys in the next video bye